You just turned 60. So... Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm you not look... quite 60 yet. I'll be 60 uh, in November. I thought you just turned 60. Oh, so it's not yet. That's no, why you don't look 60. Yet. I was yeah. going to say you don't look 60, but you're not. That's why. I look about a month short of 60. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, no, I'm very excited about it. I'm, you know what? I, I love being this age. I'm, you know, laid back, as you could tell. Uh, I don't stress out about things that I used to. I used to, little things would stress me out. I'd be driving, and I'd see a billboard that say, only you could prevent forest fires. I think, that's a lot of pressure on me. Yeah. Why me? I'm not even a fireman. Yeah. I've never used a fire extinguisher before. Not fair. And I've cut back on drugs. I'm not a drug taker, you know? I'm not, You've cut uh, back? Yeah, I've cut back. Totally. What were you taking? Well, I stopped taking Lipitor, <laughs> because uh, I found out that it's not for the lips. <laughs> It is not for the lips. <laughs> but you know what, Ellen? I have good genes in my family. Uh, <laughs> uh, my father's 87, and he's got a, a great memory. Mm -hmm. He constantly tells me how he remembers when he started driving, gas was only 13 cents a gallon, and a gallon was only a quart <laughs> at the time. Yeah. Things have changed. We actually have an electric car. It's in the shop now. We're having a gas engine put in it, but I love uh -huh. it. I love that thing. <laughs> Sip of water. It's a good piece of machinery. <laughs> <laughs> Timing. That's wonderful. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Water so you're not worried about getting older? Um, no, no, not really. No. Uh, you know what? I've kind of done a computer uh, projection of how I'm going to look as I get older each decade. And I brought something in with me. Maybe you could check it out oh, and really? see what I'm talking about. And it it looks like I've got a long life ahead of me. Well, this is me now, currently at, uh, well, soon to be 60. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is me at 70. <laughs> and uh, next one is 80. Uh -huh. I put on a little weight because uh -huh. I, you know, and 90 right there. Right. And then uh, here's 100. Uh huh. And then uh, finally 110. Uh huh. Yeah. That's great. That's your entire aging process. Yeah. And just kneeling. <laughs> They'll know who it is. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you need on there. And you, I, I always get so jealous when people are on the show. And uh, I heard that you just went on, on safari. And I hear so many people are doing it. And I, I'm dying to do that. I'm dying to go on safari. You should do it. I want to do it. What, what, did you love it? Well, this was uh, one of my bucket list things. Mm -hmm. And we saw all the animals. And What did um, you see? Uh, well, we saw some foxes. <laughs> and <laughs> wow. We saw the big five. We saw the elephants. Uh, uh, see, like Cape buffalo, lions, leopards, and the rhinoceros, plus many others. Uh, we saw a um, uh, hyena, a spotted hyena, not the laughing hyena. I think that's something separate, because uh -huh. I was trying to get the spotted hyena to laugh at nothing. Nope. Not, not props, didn't bite at all on any of that stuff. Nope. But the good thing is, you got a minute? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I pull up. We pull up in this open roof, like safari truck. It's got the benches in the back. Right. And we're sitting out there with no protection. I think the driver has a gun or something. And, um, and we pull right up next to these lions. And our guide said, just don't stand up, because they see the truck with us in it, but they see it as one big like animal or something. They don't know what it is. But when you stand up, you become an individual. Mm -hmm. And then that's when they go after you. So because I'm so tall, they made me lay down. <laughs> across the back bench like this. And so all I saw was like upside down animals the whole time. You know, just like, but it was still worth it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like they wouldn't have a bench even that long. That was your head outside. No, I was hanging outside of the. Outside. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't seem safe either. It's uh, not safe, but yeah. it's exciting. Yeah, it is exciting. Yeah. Well, you're a risk taker, aren't you? You're, well, yeah, you that's like what trying I'm saying. new things. I like risk taking. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to skydive or go on a carnival cruise or anything like that, but. Uh, <laughs> You know, I will take risks. <laughs> yeah, I, uh... <clears throat> you know, I will, I, I'm not going to chase a storm. I'm not going to be a, like a, you know, a storm chaser. I'll chase a drizzle, but mm. that's about it. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, you know, the skydiving thing is just too terrifying to me. Like, I saw about eight months ago, this guy was skydiving. He broke the record. He went up... Did you guys read about this? He went 24 miles up in the air, up to the Earth's atmosphere, and he had a suit built, he had the helmet and the, the white suit, and he filmed himself, and he fell for 24 miles, and he broke the sound barrier. He was going faster than the speed of sound. And I'm thinking, this is a good thing this guy's chute opened up, otherwise that would have been a big mess to clean up. Right. They would have been cleaning it up, and then they would have heard, oh, no! <laughs> no, look out! 